Oh shit, wrong, wrong music. What the hell? Um. What the hell is that? Okay, yeah, you guys. This is the. Uh, the teacher. Episode 12. Um. Yeah. Alrighty. I woke up early the next day. I've been thinking so much about Finland and I just had an hour to look at the hotel before I, I had to go wake up Kylie. Mm. Wow, look at those igloos. I can I can see you can see the big cabin. Well, I can see you can get a big cabin that comes with a glass igloo. Mm. If we were to go there, I think I would be, I think that would be what we need. Because obviously I can't sleep in the same bed as Daryl. And one eagle is too small for all of us. So a cabin with an eagle, it is. What would you like to see? Um, oh, this bitch clutch. Next picture. Super romantic. I can see myself laying here, start gazing all night. Nice fireplace in the center of the room. Wow, so cozy. Um, which means small. Very nice. I hope if we go there that snows t there snows too. Um wait, oh wait, wait, wait. The igloos at night. Whoever came up with this concept was a genius. Um the what? Northern lights honestly experiencing. That is one of my biggest dreams. What a Beautiful picture. Okay, I'm done looking. There's some great pictures. I really hope I can get there. I hope through all the support. Well, I hope we can go there. Kelly and Dara were already awake. They are. They were arguing since I left. Oh, since I have Sunday off, Kylie and Daryl takes care of dinner themselves, and apparently they had pizza last night. Kylie, pizza is not something you should eat for breakfast. Your body needs energy. It needs fuel. You'll be tired again in an hour. Fine, you're such a buzzkill, Daryl. Just one more bite, then I'll stop. Are you ready to go, Kylie? In just a second. She shuts the pizza box back on. Uh, uh, she puts the pizza box back on the counter. Good morning, Mia. Daryl. I had to acknowledge his presence. I didn't feel like talking to him at all, but I I bet he felt that too. I'll wait in the car, Kylie. Don't forget the books on the table and go and to go brush your teeth. Okay. See you in class. I was still pissed at him for letting Cassie harassed me and even laughing about it himself it's none of my business who he sleeps with but I, d I just don't understand why he sleeps with Cassie um, especially not after he told me how he rejected her that night I walked in on him in the bedroom and oh in the bathroom I guess he just changed his mind I'm glad Ellie gave me a heads up on him but right now I just need to distance myself from him before I say something stupid I don't want Kylie to think there's a problem between us. So I don't want her to worry. <laughs> Alright class, quiet down please. This, um, Montero, put your phone away please. And Miss Pageant, yes I mean you, Miss Rose. <sighs> um, can you put your book down too? We haven't even started yet. 
Oh, shut up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it just flew right out of me. Shit. How did I get how do I get us out of this mess? I can't tell the the, the truth that teenagers that feed on drama and they'll immediately think the worst. I need to come up with something. Daryl looked sternly at me. We both knew we shouldn't be telling people we live together. He kept a straight face, but I was freaking out. I was how about to explain this. <laughs> I was sure they were all thinking the worst about me and him right now. Oh, shit. Oh, first name basis. <laughs> oh, crap. How do you know each other? I, oh, uh, we, we went on a date once. What? <laughs> what? I guess as he said that I was speechless. When on earth should I have been on a date with him? I've been together with Jake since I was 17. If, if I were to have been on a date with Daryl, I would have been on it while seeing Jake and if I would have gone on a date with him before seeing Jake um I would have been a minor and that would be <laughs> and that would barely be legal shit you've been on a date with him really when Jake I oh that was that is weird wow that is weird yeah that's <laughs> That is not cool, Mia. Everyone already started to assume I, I cheated on Jake. I didn't know what to say. It was either tell the truth or risk both Daryl and I losing our jobs. Or pretend to have been on date with Daryl while I was dating Jake. Either way, I couldn't win. Quiet down. Let me explain. It's actually quite a story. Yes, Miss Rose and I went on a date not many months ago. Um, well, I wanted to be a date. Anyway, I witnessed a man running up to her, stealing her bag and running away with it. <laughs> <laughs> this is so extra. Boy, if you're not 25, is your frontal lobe not developed all the way yet, child? Because this is when your frontal lobe is supposed to be developed and you just came up with the most elaborate shit. <laughs> I decided to run up to him and I ended up catching up to him. As soon as the guy saw he was chased he dropped the bag but unfortunately he got away and i retrieved the bag oh i mean I, uh yeah i retrieved the bag for miss rose and as i didn't know i was going to be teaching as the school at the at the, that point i asked her out for coffee right after it, the incident honestly i don't think she knew if i was just being friendly or offering her coffee because she was shaken up or if i actually was flirting with her <laughs> so she agreed to grab a coffee with me and honestly ladies she didn't really have a choice did she i mean it would have been rude to decline after i i what i just did right <laughs> boy that shit was so far-fetched child anyway we went to grab our coffee but our conversation progressed i found out she was seeing someone she also seemed a bit uncomfortable, so obviously she uh, only got the coffee with me to be polite. <laughs> we parted after that and didn't see each other until I came here. And yes, it was awkward seeing her. Yes, it felt pretty rejected. <laughs> but we had a good uh, talk that day and the coffee was good. Wasn't it, Miss Rose? Uh, she she <laughs> went all the way up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to say I'm scared. All that shit. That's like, oh, no. Um, okay, the noodles in there, the meat that's been cooking for the spaghetti. Okay. Hold on for a second. And you got one pan, one leg, leg in the pan. In. Okay. <laughs> We had the classroom laughing, making them believe it was, uh, making them believe he was interested in me. Okay. All right. The spaghetti is cooking, y'all. I just turned this whole thing around and Jake was looking at me smiling. 
<laughs> you need something too? Uh. I'm just reading the game. He looked relieved and he looked like he believed it. He looked almost proud. I'm about to say, where's my kid? You can't go upstairs, baby. Whoa! Sorry. Oh, crap, you guys. <sighs> Worst episode ever, you guys. Sorry. Oh, my God. Come on. I knew Daryl just stuck his neck out for me. He made me look <laughs> desirable and loyal. Uh, yeah, so coffee was good. Mr. Collins, you're a hero. I can't believe he actually in, he was actually interested in me. <laughs> yeah, that was actually pretty cool, Mr. C. Yeah, it was quite an experience. Anyway, please turn to page 378. <laughs> okay. That was close. <laughs> Way too close. I can't believe he did that. He totally saved your butt and on his own too. He did. I better watch my mouth. <laughs> Daryl looked at me, took a deep breath through his nose, and nodded. I could see he was telling me this is way too close, but they bought it. <laughs> I was afraid that this was the last straw that he would fire me after this. Oh, girl, he ain't gonna fire you. He's trying to get the cook. Damn. Get in here. Oh, snatch your little ass up. Hey. Oh, no, I'm in trouble. What should I do? Apologize. Start right there. I'm so sorry. I know I messed up. I... Mia, let me talk. That was way too close for comfort. Yeah, I'm sorry I made you lie for us. It was the only thing I could do. I couldn't tell them the truth. <laughs> I know they would have immediately have thought the worst about us. I'm not going to lose my job because of my mother's mistake. Oh, okay. Why don't you just fire me then? I can't fire you, me, and my mother hired you. And Kelly seems to like you a lot. She's starting to get better. <sighs> you know this isn't exactly easy for me either, Daryl. You're not exactly making this easy for me. If you hadn't been a jerk to me again last Saturday. I wouldn't have told you to shut up today. <laughs> hey, I'm allowed to have a life too, Mia. <laughs> Does being rude and unprofessional give you a life? <laughs> oh, it will give you life. <laughs> Why didn't you tell Cassie to stop harassing me? It doesn't make you feel good to see me being put down or it doesn't make... Of course it doesn't make me feel good, Mia. <sighs> uh... Let's stay selfish, yeah. The only explanation to why you didn't step in to help me is because you're afraid you wouldn't get laid if you did. <laughs> God, you're so selfish. You're a little too close to me. He moved in closer to me, standing two feet away from me. I was pressing myself up against the door. Don't act like you know me, Mia. Oh, but I do know you, Daryl. And you haven't exactly proven me wrong yet. You seem to focus more on how to get laid than actually being there for, here for Ky Kylie. Hey. That's enough. Do you honestly think I have trouble getting laid? Well, in my opinion, does it matter to you? So why are you asking me? I shouldn't even be talking to you about this. Well, I don't know. You've clearly made up your mind about me. And since you seem to think girls are all I care about, there's no point in holding back anymore, is there? Mm -hmm. You think this is me being a bad boy, Mia? You have, you have seen nothing yet, girl. There's nothing you can do that surprise me, Daryl. I see right through you. Challenge accepted. You're going to wish you never got this job. And know what? Oh, and you know what? Like it or not, but you'll fall for me too.
<laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> oh, come on, Mia. We both know you don't, don't think that. Stay away from me. <laughs> Where you going, Papa? I can't believe that this happened. I wasn't sure what to expect from him now, but I was definitely about to find out what kind of guy he really was. Um, Mia, don't worry, I'll be out of your hair soon. I'll just grab a snack and get out of here. Listen, Mia, I'm, I'm sorry for what I said last weekend. I don't believe her. I kind of get the feeling that I shouldn't trust you. I don't blame you for thinking that, but I actually bought you a little piece offering. Just to show you how sorry I am. You you did? Yes. I have it right here in this bag. Here, I really hope you like it. Close your eyes. Girl, no, don't close your eyes. <laughs> she quickly dragged something down over my head. Looks good on you, Mia. She held a small mirror up in front of me. You're such a bitch, Cassie. I know, but at least I'm not a boring man. I couldn't hold back tears anymore. This day had been stressful enough already. I had had enough. That's enough, Cassie. Oh, now you want to step in and be Captain Fabian. Ugh, I hate him. <laughs> he gently removed the nun crawl. Go it to the ground and wipe away a tear on my cheek. He looked sympathetically at me, which surprised me. I was confused and didn't know how to respond to this at all. This man was more, has more personalities than a girl on her period. Not a girl on her period, baby. <laughs> but I must admit, I was relieved to have someone, even Bill, there to help me and comfort me. I'm pretty sure this isn't what my mother is paying me for. Wow, okay, someone's moody today. You kind of turns me on when you're mad. I actually agree with her. He's extremely moody. <laughs> Before the time, I actually felt safe with him. I'm not actually feel safe with him. This is a side to Daryl I had hoped to see sooner, but I'm glad he stepped in this time. Are you okay? Just say thank you, yes. Thank you for stepping in this time. Yeah, it doesn't change anything, though. I'm still going to bang her. I get on one of those cookies. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And we're right back at the beginning again. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What's the matter? Uh uh uh. Stop, stop, stop. Uh, to turn something on for her to watch. I had a feeling about I was about to see a side of girl that would make my skin crawl. A side that would make me wish I had the old Daryl back. <sighs> I knew I started something that uh started something in the archive room today. He had uh, he had already changed. Okay, y'all. Uh, sorry for all the fucking kids in the background, but my Sister-in-law is at the hospital giving birth at the moment. Well, about to give birth, preparing to give birth. So I have her children and my child. And as you can hear, it's fucking total mayhem over here. Clearly, girl. All right. Thank you guys again for watching my video.